before and after. Super cute. These are the flowers that Anthony got me. This is my last lily. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So not too bad. I think it cleaned up very nice. All right, hello everybody. I'm here with a Dixie update. Um, I'm gonna try to get through this piece um, without crying. So, forewarn. Um, so today is one week um, since we had to make the decision to put Dixie down. Um, she had a severe infection that put her into kidney failure and the even with the emergency surgery her kidneys still would not bounce back. Um, so we had to make the hard decision to say goodbye to her and um, put her down. So um, our Dixie is no longer with us and it's been a very difficult week for both me, both my husband and I. And um, it's definitely a very, very hard goodbye. And um, life is very different now. You don't have like this small little girl around the house anymore. You don't hear her paws on the hardwood. You don't hear her tail wagging on the hardwood. You don't hear her little bark. You don't feel her little presence on your pillow at night. And um, it's definitely weird and, and sad and all these emotions into one. So um, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update and it's not a good one, but, um, we know she's on the Red Mill Bridge and she's in no pain anymore. And yeah, so there's the update on Dixie and we opted to have her cremated. So we should be getting um, her ashes back this week and bringing her back home. So that will be nice to have her back home again. Just not in the way that we want it. Does anybody else's mother-in-law do this or mother? This is my mother-in-law's house. It is the end of February. It's freezing out. This woman has clothes on the line in the middle of winter. What the hell? Oh, does anybody else's mother-in-law do this? Or mother? Or do you do this? Isn't it like frozen when it comes in? I think those are bed sheets. But isn't it your bed would be like an ice cube? Like a igloo. Interesting. Uh, so it's Sunday. And I have a to-do list a mile long. Like I have so much cleaning to do and laundry to do and dishes. And I have so many things I want to get accomplished. And I'm sitting here in bed still. And it's 9.30 in the morning. I have an appointment at 12.30. And I can 
not find the motivation or the inspiration or the will to get out of bed. And I feel guilty about it. I'm keeping myself distracted with social media and my phone when I know that I should be being productive and getting things accomplished. But I just want to lay here and do nothing. Maybe I should start with just getting dressed. Getting out of my pajamas and getting into like real clothes. But even the thought of that and the energy that takes is daunting. But we're going to do it. We're going to get clothes on. Real clothes. We're going to get clothes on. Oh, who is this? Who is this? Poop. This is a morals in her bed. This is a morals in her bed. Got my moccasins on for work, my jeans, my personal growth sweatshirt. I love this. Uh, my hair is just like crazy. I'm thinking about getting it chopped off. I know I just feel like that's where I'm at. I just want it chopped off, I think. Anyhow, is this a Momo? Oh, is this a cute Momo? Yes, this is a cute Momo. Hiya, Momo. Oh, you're so sweet. So I am laying here with the Momo spending some morning love with her this morning before I go off to work. It is a Monday so we are starting our um, work week and it's the last day of February so we're saying goodbye to February. Um, so it's a new week. My house is clean. I am going to figure out a house cleaning routine because I'm finding that I'm cleaning the house all day on my only day off during the week so or every Saturday or every Sunday I should say let me put this here I am cleaning the house every Sunday uh, and that's my day off so I don't want to be taking my whole entire day off to clean and scrub and do laundry um, when I could be relaxing or doing something that I want to do or something that makes me happy or brings me joy. So I'm going to work really hard um, tonight after work to come up with a system to keep the house clean so that I don't have to spend my only day off Sunday cleaning house. So if you have any tips or suggestions, leave them down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear that. Also, um, my sister-in-law introduced me to a little site called Shein. And uh, you know how I love to journal and plan? Well, they have tons and tons and tons and tons of stationery. And I love stationery. So... I have my first ever Shein, ha or Shein order coming today, so I'm super excited to get home from work and open it up. I'm going to do a um, Shein first look vlog for you guys. I'm um, so excited to see what I, because listen, <laughs> I have this disorder. I don't know if it's a disorder, but I have this thing where I order things and then I forget about it. So. Um, so I order things 
and then when they come in either from Amazon, Shein, I don't know what I ordered. So when I'm opening it up on camera to show you guys, it's like a surprise for me too. I'm just like, oh yeah, look how cool this is. I ordered this. I forget all the time what I order and then when it comes in the mail I get so excited because it's like, oh yeah, I got a gift that I don't even know what it is. So that's fun. Also, tomorrow starts a new month, so I want to, um, this year, 2022, has definitely already gotten, um, away from me. Like, we're done with two months already. Like, two months are gone of the year, and I don't know where they went, and I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> and, um, I feel kind of, like, lost and confused and, like, dazed and confused. Like, how did two months go by so fast already um so this month march i really want to focus on um some of my goals and some of my um working on some of my things that i want to work on and um really get get into what i want so that'll be fun i might take you along on that experience as well i'm not sure yet uh, but other than that, it's a new week and I'm ready to get going. So I'm going to go pack my lunch for work and start the truck. Oh, I can't take the truck. It's going to inspect it today. Um, but I think I'm going to come home and chop my hair off today. I think I'm just going to whack it. Just whoop, done. Ah, we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm very compulsive. But uh, what breed is Marnold's? What breed is this baby girl? She's a 100% good girl. <laughs> yeah, she's a 100% a good girl. That's what breed she is, a good girl. No, she's a bulldog. American Bulldog. But I think I'm going to get a DNA test. Oh, there's Wolfie. Hi, Wolf. Good morning. Um, I think I'm going to do one of those doggy DNA tests just to to see. I think that would be fun. So I chopped my hair eight inches today. Oh, it feels so much better, so much healthier. I feel like a no woman. But anyhow, I got a Shein order. Let's go check out my first hour Shein order. Mm -hmm. 